Hey y'all and welcome back to How Do You Cook? Back to Basics. So today I'm going to share with you how I make my pulled pork barbecue with my special root beer sauce. First thing you'll need is some olive oil for your frying pan. Now once your frying pan and your olive oil is nice and hot, you'll go ahead and put in your pork loin or pork roast or whatever you prefer to use in that frying pan and brown up all the sides of your roast. Now once your pork loin or pork roast is nicely browned, go ahead and put that in a nicely oiled crock pot. Make sure it fits really well. Now we're putting in two teaspoons of salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, three fourths cup of chopped onion, and y'all, this is my secret ingredient right here root beer. So I will be putting in one cup of root beer so that this can cook in. Y'all, look at how this root beer bubbles over this pork roast. Mm -mm -mm. So here I am arranging my onions, put, putting some of them back on the top of my roast. Now we're going to close the lid on our crock pot, set our crock pot on high for four hours. Y'all, look at how delicious this looks. So right here, I am checking to see if it will actually pull apart, which it will. So I am going to go ahead and try to get that bone out of this pork roast. And y'all, as you can see, this bone pulled right off of that pork roast. So I couldn't get it out with my fork, so I went ahead and got it out with my fingers. So now I'm going in here and checking to see if there are any more bones in my roast, which there are not. And now I'm draining the liquid from my roast into a colander. And once that's drained, I will be putting my roast back in the crock pot. So here I have two forks that I'm using to shred my pork. You can make it as fine or as chunky as you like. It's your preference, whatever you like. So now I will be putting in my ingredients that make up my sauce in my barbecue. The first thing I'm putting in is a one 12 ounce bottle of chili sauce and two cups of root beer. You can use whatever kind of root beer you prefer, but the one thing you do not need to do is use diet. You need to use the full flavored root beer in this recipe. Give that a really good stir. And y'all, I almost forgot to add one ingredient, and that is my salt. Right here, I'm adding a half of a teaspoon of salt. Give that a really good stir. Cover your crock pot back up and let it simmer on low or high or whatever you prefer. And enjoy, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this episode on how do you cook back to basics. Until next time. Bye-bye now.